Welcome to the Fertility Rewire podcast. I'm your host, Kat Stevens, a fertility therapist, educator, and advocate. I want to share with you what you should have been told, what you should be being told, and basically to arm you on this journey so that you have the right information to be able to ask the right questions to get the answers you need. You can find me at fertilityrewire.com. I hope you enjoy the podcast. Hello and welcome to episode 58 of the Fertility Rewire podcast. And no, I haven't abandoned you. I am so sorry. I think the last time I uh, published an episode was in July. So I I really apologise about that. But it kind of prompted me to talk about what I'm going to talk about today. But before I do, I wanted to let you know about a new document that I've prepared that you can get for free, which is called Six Things Stopping You From Getting Pregnant. Now, I will put the link in the show notes. It's also on the website, fertilityrewire.com. And you can also grab it on Instagram at Fertility Rewire. So let me tell you about what prompted me. Well, my inactivity here, shall we say. So I obviously have a business and my business is about fertility and I struggle to talk about it because I get a bit icky about it being a business sometimes. It's my issue. Um, But I've been working with um, a business coach on my team and we've been looking at ways to get information out to people to streamline my business to make things easier for um for working with clients and clients getting to me and she kind of she said she didn't call me out but i really feel she called me out because she talked about the difference between motivation and discipline and I do think, you know, when you look at motivation, you can liken that to your own fertility journey. So how motivated are you to undertake the actions that you've read about? Maybe people have suggested, maybe you've heard me say, how motivated are you to do that? And at the start, I would think that you're very motivated to do it. But then what results are you getting? And so the motivation can drop. You can have thoughts like, what's the point of doing this? It's not working. So what is the point in doing it? But then we come to discipline. And discipline is that you just doesn't matter why you're doing it. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. It's the discipline of setting aside that you're going to do something and sticking to it. Now, from a business perspective and speaking with an expert, as I have done, I can see actually how the discipline is going to work better for me, because if I set a schedule of the first Monday of every month, I'm going to record so many episodes of the podcast, then that's done, isn't it? It's not that I'm finding time in between things that I'm doing. So when we look at that at Fertility, First of all, let's look at your motivation. And you've heard me talk about this before. Why are you doing what you're doing? So you might be stopping eating certain foods. You might not be drinking alcohol. Your partner might not be going in a hot tub. You might be stopping things that could be detrimental that you have read, that you have been advised about, not necessarily by experts, But also, actually, and I will bring up on this because I spoke with a client this week and she's confused because so many different experts, and I do inverted commas there, have told her different things, different supplements. And what's the driver behind that? And who are those experts? One was a gynecologist, one was a fertility doctor, and they were saying different things, really. Um, But we have to look at this wider picture of what we're doing. So yes, supplements are important, diet is important, your stress levels are important. Various over-the-counter things that you can get, different herb supplements, they may help you, but just because they help one person 
doesn't necessarily mean they help another. We put different practices into place with my clients depending on their cycle. So depending on whether their luteal phase is short, which I've talked about, whether there is estrogen dominance, whether the sperm result parameters, although normal, are actually not really the best or the optimum they could be. So to get motivation, you have to truly believe and you have to understand what it is you're doing. You have to understand what it is you're doing, why you're doing it. And we look then at factors around how it's workable and realistic, really, because if you become on this, and I will say desperate, because it is a desperate feeling of, I will do anything to get pregnant. You know, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do the other. But you know, when you get to a point of knowledge and understanding, it is so much easier to be motivated. And I hope this free document, Six Things Stopping You From Getting Pregnant, might start to build on perhaps what you've already learned and known. It might build on what you're hearing from me on other podcasts or information or blogs that you're looking at. So it's really important to accept that sometimes motivation isn't the thing, you know, because that is leading to the upset that what's the point? It's you're not motivated. What's the point? Nothing's changing or you feel nothing is changing. But as I've said to my clients, you know, the result you're waiting for is a positive pregnancy test is a successful pregnancy that leads to a live birth. That's the result you're waiting for. But the little results you get along the way that you might not understand unless you're being guided are really, really important. And I see huge amounts of little results with my clients that are building to that final big result. So maybe for now, if you're not working with someone, you know, if you do have these things that you believe in, that you know are right for you to do, it's down to you perhaps to look at discipline, to say, you know, to identify what you're going to change, if anything, investigate the background to it rather than accept what somebody else has said. Because as I've said many times, there are many micro factors that are affecting your fertility. It might not be one big thing. I mean, the big thing is the fact that you're not getting pregnant, but these micro factors that we can look at and address might be where you need to go. And actually, and I'm sorry to mention stress, because or let's call it worry, your worry about the fact that you're not getting pregnant, your worry and your fear about the fact that all these things you're doing and still you're not getting pregnant, the unfairness of it all and the desperation that I did talk about earlier, all of those factors may be negatively impacting your fertility, which doesn't help I know doesn't help and we can look at ways to reduce that response in you but one of those and I come back to this is when you understand why you're doing what you're doing when you see those micro results when you see things slowly changing that can put your motivation back on track or maybe you need your motivation from an outside source maybe it's time that you're able to slowly drop this and put your trust in somebody else, somebody like myself or similar. And that's a big part of when I'm working with people that it's, I ask the question, are you prepared to put this aspect, often not the whole picture, are you prepared to trust me to just help you to support on this bit. And we set time frames, and you can do that for yourself. Well, let's do this for three months and let's see where we're at, okay? So I wanted to think about discipline. I wanted to think about motivation and here is my discipline now. I am going to record podcasts on the first Monday of every month and then there will be a steady stream for you. And if things happen like they have happened for me over the past few months, I still have a bank of podcasts for you. So that's my um, discipline. And my motivation is that you get the information that you need. And I strongly feel that my role, yes, I have a business, but my biggest role and my passion is that I inform you and I can advocate 
on your behalf when you're speaking to medical professionals and so on. So think about your motivation, maybe drop the motivation for a little while, look at discipline just momentarily, and then try to find out why you're doing what you're doing. And when you have trust and belief in the actions you're taking, or trust and belief in the person who's advising you of these actions, you might find it easier to follow a specific protocol, not an everything protocol. I hope that helps and as I've said I will be back speaking to you regularly and if you wanted to get your hands on the six things stopping you from getting pregnant go to fertilityrewire.com in the free resources section go to instagram at fertility rewire or look in the show notes wherever you are listening to this but for now take care I really hope you enjoyed that episode and whether you're trying for your first child your second child or more whether you've just started on your journey or you've been on the twists and turns of this for a long time. I really hope this information is going to help you ask the right questions to get the right answers. And if you want to know any information about Fertility Rewire, about working with me or the free resources that I have available, please visit www.fertilityrewire.com. Until next time.